Hello everyone, Smurf here and welcome back as I get completely raped by this Smurf cat. Uh, you will in fact suffer for that. I did just see it kill a fox as I was running towards this uh, little artifact that we have here. Of whatever kind. That is in fact not the way there. Uh yeah, let's just do this. Let's see you, old friend. Uh on the side of the cliff, maybe? No. It is pretty far down. Pretty far down, so let's continue onwards. Now this is too far. For this to be the way forward. However, I am seeing this exploding thingy. I didn't kill you. Broken bow. So something needs to go boom. But where and how? Go, Sunan. That is indeed the question. These trees are really annoying. In order for me to scout. It can just be that I'm running up and exploding the entrance. It didn't really seem uh, explodable. But then again, I have been wrong before. Yeah, this, this is definitely not the way in. But uh, I have absolutely no idea to get in there. Show me what lies ahead. It does seem that there's something far, far up there. Ah, here it is. Quite difficult to find out given that. There we go. Now, how many of those do I have now? As we need those for this one. How do I figure that out? Um, uh, where is my bag? It's resources, runes. Resource, resource. Shit ton of runes. I have five Uri Neil artifacts. That is also what is required. For this set of armor down here so we are in fact going to be doing this this these two that's hopefully going to be that should be it for yep that should be it then we have these two and the final order guy girl for the last episode so in fact guys we have like 40 minutes an hour left of this uh Walk through.
Now the last druid is the, in fact the one I have a small spoiler about. Because while I was looking at fishes, uh, good fishing spots, um, it did say that she was in fact in Dublin. And on the west, west side, west, southwest side, west side. I don't know anything about her, but we do in fact have her uh, sketch, although in black, in our menu. So we might just, I might just run around to find her. It might be the easiest Let's way to do it. Here. No, I will not go hooded. I will go full Viking. Way too long. God, that damage is crazy. Kind of nuts. Actually, I haven't checked the uh, achievements alone. yet, so there might be an achievement of doing something extremely weird like in the main game where we had to lift three captains on fire at the same time when, while being 200 levels below them or something weird which was a very very weird quest to do but our achievement I'm stuck on a rock give me a hand with this now, if I am going to die by an archer, I would like it to be hey, while I'm bleeding. That would, in fact, be my way to go. Worth. And now for this little hut right here. Did see the eye frame. Or that eye. It might be a clue for our last druid as well. If we are lucky. Well, let's see here. Flex. Yes. No. No found in the villa abbey. Chest. Then except for this, which I can must be blocked from the other side. Barred. I mean, why are we bar this door? Matter of fact, how do they bar this? Door? Well, they can bar it and then make this steel, but steel trench, but still. That is in fact the last druidic helmet. Now there should be two more. This is in fact the last. We are almost done here. We jump it. Yeah, lovely. They did somewhat fix that. The roach did have quite a few problems with jumping fences and whatnot in the main game. I haven't had any problems with it so far in this walkthrough. Rohan is here. No. 
now for the scroll. It's quite simply right here. Lane. Would like to see what did I get for? Oh, I have two left. Ah. All right. She's in Dublin. What do you say? Investigate the crypt in the Wait. Did I? I don't know where this guy is also. Or I know. 70% of where he is. Like bottom of Ulster. Somewhere. Near the border. I have no idea what it looks like though. But since I have a decent idea of where they are, I'm not going to be looking for the clues. I haven't been doing that for any of the druids thus far. And actually it is slightly boring just looking for the clues all over the place when they don't come naturally. So, um... What are you? Well, that's not nice. I will just uh, take this treasure and be on my way if you don't mind. So now to look for the explosive. Hello there. Also one right there. And the book of knowledge. Wanna see what does it do now? Is it actually worth using? Your wolfhound protects you longer. Great. Now, the irony, of course, is not lost on me, considering that we just killed four wolves to get to the wolf ability. Hang on. Or dog ability, I guess it is, but the other one is a wolf. And it was a protective upgrade, so... Two hundred meters for our last wealth of this area. You of course still have the Ui Nuil. This is in fact down. Which usually means we have to go upwards. Those pikes were quite effective. Oh. And there was another chest. Oh. Ten texts. Amazing. Yeah. 
and I did see the haystack, but at that point I had already jumped downwards. And the last tungsten ingot. Now for... We can do the two druids. Now I do know that one of the druids is in like this area somewhere. It should be a hostile area. Most likely one of these king quests or kingly demands not that we have one but it should be an area that would, could resemble it I think being in the middle of nowhere so just the power of 55 I'm quite happy that she keeps jumping into pools and whatnot because I haven't seen anything that even slightly resembles a shower. Uh, that hurt my ears. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. See It's kind of looking for a base or a town. All I see is forest. Someone move. The internet doesn't lie, does it chat? Oh here's a town. It's friendly. Somewhat. What am I looking for? I'm looking for uh, this guy. Curly hair seems old. Not that tall. Something just happened here, which was not supposed to. Oh, there's another town right there. And that might be it. Are we going too far south? I think so. I thought it was here. It might have just been... Entirely lost on me. Whoops. Not mean to do that. But oh, that was lucky. Okay, hello. Are so dead. Okay, let's see some uh, wolf against wolf action here. A new dog ability. Let's see what we got. Eight damage. Nope, no damage actually. Then I can see. I'm sorry. Okay, by druid. Your rituals are at an end. And now for the final one. She is somewhere here. Ish. Kind of. I 
I have no idea. But uh The last was good, so let's just continue on with our lucky cycle here. Now we do also need to look at the achievements. Desperate death room. Okay. Yeah, you're with me. Um, we do indeed need to look at her complexion before we start killing off random individuals. Real fast, do that. And we are gonna save in case I kill too many civilians. And her complexion. She looks long hair, young. Thin, has a necklace. Goodbye. No. <laughs> that was easy. You can see it on the necklace. The final shard potion. Amber Sun. That was the last druid. And shall we just for the sake of it for this episode also take this armor? And see what get this gets us. Uh, the last one was Torgesta Seals. Torgests. Torgestest. Shield. Kind of lackluster. Actually, something that I typically tend to do is try to figure out, like, for example, I got Thor's hammer and the spear halfway through, because you did need to have play like, quite a bit also, so you could actually fight the more tougher zones, but I did get them halfway through simply so I could use them in the game, because doing a game 100% and then only by the end getting the fun weapons to use is just unlucky that like of course I could have used the spear for the entire like I did use it quite a bit in this playthrough but having played around with Excalibur and the spear and the hammer and everything in the main game is like in the actual campaign is a lot more fun than just having it in the end game especially since there's not any raids or dungeons that needs to be completed in an Assassin's Creed game. Now we are going through the waterfall. Hello little quick. Well, let's see what you have in store for us. God, I hope it's something cool. We kneels rest. <laughs> and we got it sealed. 
Well, let's take... Oh, wait, we need to get it to uh, load first. Let's take a look at the shield. Well, let's see here. Increase ability damage based on how long you maintain the block stance. Increase ability damage. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Could be fun for some point in the future. Definitely not a bad shield. I say. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this episode. We are... What do we have left? We have... This left. But then I believe we have... Everything in, ter um, in terms of achievements. What do we have? We have four achievements left, actually. Beat all territories, kill the only snake in Ireland. And two achievements. Okay, they are not available at this time, that's fair. The only snake. Don't know what that a re that's a reference to. No, we do have this quest line. Creates a po Daedra creates a potion from the Amber Shards. I wonder if it's a potion to another dimension or something. Where we have to battle a snake. Well, that's all we're going to be doing in the next episode. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.